Hello YouTube, hello Twitch, it's some more opening day Hearthstone. Uh, we kind of beamed up a little bit last time by playing the Burgle Rogue deck, which I don't think is particularly good. And it proved to be not very good, we went 2-5 and five with it. And honestly, we, we were kind of lucky with the 2 that we got. Today I'm going to play with a deck that I thought was going to be really, really strong. But actually, when I started to put the decks together in the run-up to this, I decided that the, the pure Demon Hunter package with the Parachuting Pirates would be better. Nevertheless, though, I decided to go with what my original thought would be for this Shaman Demon Hunter Pirate Package deck. And the main idea of the deck is that Shaman very recently had a pretty good token package in Totem Shaman, and some of the hand buff cards that were there for that deck sort of still remain in the game. Basically, Bloodlust is in the game via Thrall's Gift at one more mana cost. And I think you would run Bloodlust in your token deck at one more mana cost still. The pirate package is really good because it generates you lots of tokens and more importantly one of the best ways to deal with the token decks was that you would kill them as soon as they were summoned. You can't do that as easily with the charging minions. Therefore you kind of can create a big board of charging pirates and just destroy your opponent with them which is very 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 good. The downside I will say of this is because there's a taunt package out there you can't really get around taunt and taunt is kind of a big weakness for your deck. Uh, therefore, I think the Demon Hunter deck is better because you can run Kane and just ignore charge eventually. So that is part of the logic behind why I think one deck is better than the other. On the plus side for this deck, though, you do have some nice plays. You could do a Conductivity into a Trusty Companion on your three pirates, and that will draw you three more pirates from your deck. So that's an, a very nice combo. It's two cards for four mana. You get six nine in stats and draw three cards, which synergizes with the cards you've already got. You can also do the Conductivity into Skirting Death, and steal attack from your opponent's minions, which is really important if you're in a, a aggro v aggro matchup, because that's a big swing turn. You take attack from your opponent's things and give them to your face, and then you attack with it. Also important to note with this card is you can get Wind Fury on your face via the Sand Art Elemental or the weapon. I've actually gone with just the Elemental, not the weapon. And then finally, you can also do the Conductivity into Jive to get three Ragnarosses. Very fun combination. Now, another reason why that isn't very good right now in Standard is it's just too expensive, right? However, there is this really neat card called Cabaret Headliner that reduces the cost of a spell in each school in your hand by two. And it just so happens that Jive Insect is a fire spell, Skirting Death is a shadow spell, and Sigil of Sky Diving is a fell spell. And then, by the way, Conductivity and a few other cards are nature spells. So there's actually a lot of different targets to hit with the mana discount. So I see this one as a bit of a less aggressive version of the, the pure Demon Hunter deck, but it could also be really scary. Maybe it's a better balance between this hyper-aggression and you being able to deal with the mid rangey decks a little bit better. Uh, so yeah, that is the, the game plan of how we're going to win the game. We're going to play a bunch of tokens and then we're going to buff them. And we're going to win, right? Maybe. Another thing worth noting right now, as of me recording this, we're still on the opening session. I'm about three hours-ish into the set coming out. Uh, two hours, 20 minutes actually of streaming, but I've not really seen anyone playing this deck. So it could be a sign that it's bad. It could also be a sign that people have missed it. It's just gone under the radar. Cabaret Headliner is kind of an insane card, but I, I think that... I need one of my one drops to start with. It's also worth mentioning there's a variant of this deck with the Evolved Shaman package, which I think could also be really, really strong. I've built lists for lists for both, but this list has more of the new cards in it, so I went with this one, not the Evolved package. I probably should have distributed into coin then as well. Actually, I think I missed Blade. It doesn't super matter. I can treasure distribute it into Coin Trusty next turn, and then Paraglide will be on the left side of my hand. That's kind of where I was thinking of going, but uh, the distributor is just going to get killed. Oh my god, you're playing S Sanity Walker, it's called. Just. People don't like to have fun in Hearthstone. I'm convinced by it now. I can at least make the trade painful. Package type for treasure 
But yeah, I definitely misplayed this turn. Because they've got a trade into the 3-5 now, which is good for them. I've got Paragride on the right, right side of my hand, though. We might get the Parachuting Pirates out. They may also just pop deck Trolley Problem, which is also a pretty good answer to this. No. Paraglide. Three mana draw three cards. Very good. Now here's a question. If I got two of the pirates, would I have traded? I think I might have done. The Herbiture is upon us. Alright. There's another reason to take this, by the way. It's a lightning storm. God. Okay, that's pretty bad. I can steal from it, but... Not that super useful. I don't have the mana for that. Good. Good going, me. I forgot I was overloaded. Uh, great showing of this fantastic new deck. <laughs> Am I dead? Cool. I, I love being an aggro deck and losing on turn five. <laughs> okay, it's a fellow aggro deck. But I, I misplayed the hell out of that. Don't make your conclusions yet. I misplayed turn one. Also, they had an insane draw. They drew four of their insanity cards in five turns. I think. Okay, this is going to be the interesting matchup. Can I beat the opposing Demon Hunter? Also, I'm baiting you. I'm not playing Burgle Rogue anymore. Let me just change the title quickly. Uh, better than Demon Hunter? Question mark. Alright, apologies opponent. Sigil is pretty good. I will need Thralls eventually, but I don't need it immediately. Uh, I'll keep Trusty Companion. It's draw. One of the things I might actually change on this, because I pretty certain I had it in the iteration of my deck, so I don't know why I've cut it now. I had a weapon in this deck so that I could make the, the dangerous cliffside go off easier. Because obviously Demon Hunter can do that easier than Shaman. I don't know why I've cut it. Probably by accident. Okay, that has to die. Oh my god, if I had one more mana, things would get a bit crazy. I I have to just make the trade though, like this. Save the conductivity for later. It will have uses in this matchup. Still, Zilliax will work. Cabaret would take down conductivity. 
If I use Cliffside, it will take Zilliax down to one, but not zero. Well, I have to do this. Because I have to clear the 2 4. Posen is too scary to leave up. It'll turn them all into 3 3s next turn. Zilex is going to live. It's kind of crazy. Okay, we have that option next turn i i hate making the trades as an aggro deck because it feels like you're losing but at this moment protecting zilliax is more important if they want to make the trade into my zilliax with these three ones then fine so be it but then i get the advantage next turn i'm probably cabareting into button Solves any problem. No! No! Or in paragliding. It's a big tempo down, though, if I do this. Well, sure. I I'm not thrilled with the cabaret play, to be honest with you. Pop up book is better. And this might upset you, but I think the game plan here is to deal with the 1 1. Because they have pirate synergies. So I don't really mind about the additional one damage on the 2-2. Two, two. Next turn I've got Conductivity Jive as well. If they don't clear anything, which they obviously will do. That also has to die. We can Adrenaline. Adrenaline Cabaret. And push the thing. I get two twos that attack and can trade. Yeah, okay. I actually forgot I was going to get more. I will burst them, I think, because my health is so low. I'm actually slightly scared about dying. Next turn, I get the three charges. We can do the conductivity jive combo. And then we can clip it and ship it. <laughs> Hopefully. Okay. not that spooky right now and are they gonna save their location no they also missed two damage potentially
Uh, I don't think you can bounce that in any way, but... Just in case. Alright, I have no mana for next turn, but... Go get him, Rag. <laughs> Alright, Rag, wanting to deal with the 1-1 as well. I respect that. That was a me trade. Welcome to the crew. That's not gonna help you. That might help you though. Interesting that you used that location, not the other one. You missed out on a guy. Minus one damage, minus one dude. Well. We push button. Taunt. Never taunt. All right, Rag. I need you to hit the 4-1, buddy. Or two of them hit the face. Well, that's a 1-1. One, one. That's the 4-1. That's good. I can live with that outcome. Oh, boy. Can I live with this outcome now? 4-5. Three off lethal? No, one off lethal now that I think about it. Because they can reset the location if they attack. I think they've just figured it out. You don't have one damage. You won't find one damage. Oh, you didn't finale it, so you didn't. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, we've done it. <laughs> the combo, the dream. Seven. Wait, have I done it? order i fucked up so much i deserve to lose so i should just trade minions off board now don't ask me what this play was i just messed up three and five that i win <laughs> Never punish. Sorry, I couldn't wrap my head around what the play was there. But I should have traded. I should have used the location, traded, then attacked. Then used the other two to trade into the the remaining 1-1 one, one, and a 0-1. And then Rag was guaranteed to get lethal. So I had guaranteed lethal. I just messed it up by not pushing the location. And then I was trying to figure out how to solve the issue that I'd created for myself. That's kind of how I want this to go, though. With the conductivity plays. Anyway, let me make one change to the deck. Because I don't know why it wasn't in there. I must have missed... Oh, I must have made the, the wrong list. Is what I did. Because I had one copy of... Spirit Claws in my deck. I know I can't even use it, but... Just for the attack. And I think I had one less Skirting Death in there. Because I decided that Jive Inset was enough of a meme combination that I wanted to go for it. So I kept it in the deck. Alright, we'll go with this. It makes it easy for me to do the location. That's literally all it's there for. Morgo! Right, I have a paraglide in opening hand. Holy shit, I'm facing Rogue. 
Uh, good luck, Rogue. You're going to need it. It's a really bad situation for Paraglide to be in. So I think I discard it. I think I discard all of these, in fact. We're really after patches. Uh, this order is not as bad. I think I hold on that, rather than just go face with it. No, I don't. What are the odds that Rogue has direct damage? I could also Conductivity pop-up book. That is something I should be aware of. I'm going to live the dream. If the treasure distributor lives here, I think we just win because I can coin conductivity trusty companion this board. I don't think I'll draw a beast. I don't think there's a beast in my deck, right? Well, I'll draw one and I'll push a lot of damage. What did they get from that? Oh, they got the bounce one, right? Okay, so I do have to bear in mind I'm going to get bounced at some point. Any beasts? No. Okay, I should probably have considered that with the deck building. I still think it's the right play. They also have to be able to outcast that card again, and it's gone into the middle of the hand. I mean, nothing I've played will help you. Pop-up book for taunt, I suppose. I hold you in the highest respect. Eh. Uh, Show the interest. Okay. By the way, it's uh, turn four right now. And this is less aggressive than the the Demon Hunter variant, I think. Got him on 10 health. Well, good luck, Rogue. Ah, oh, they stole Conductivity into... Funhouse Mirror. Okay, hang on a minute. They're cooking. They're cooking. That's a good cook. Okay. You know what, Rogue? I I've been on that side of the the divide. It's not much fun, is it? <laughs> Watching your opponent kill you in five turns. I think that conductivity into Trusty Companion on Pop-Up Book, though, is not a good play right now. I, I think there's actually a, a floor in my deck building. I need a beast in the deck to draw. If I was drawing cards with it, it's fine, but otherwise it's too expensive a combo. Like, it's too all-in, I suppose, is more accurate. Spirit Claws is kind of useless until I get up the weapon. Cabaret Headliner is really good, but... Simply, I, I want patches. Or Treasure Distributor. They're both really good. 
Okay, thank you, Thor's gift again for showing up. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's fine. We'll we'll get patches later. Also, YouTube, I'm sorry I still not fixed the, the deck tracker. You probably can't see it. I can see it though. What? It's button druid. Again? I see my opponent has observed a new set has come out and decided to not play the new set cards. Oh no, it's Cactus Construct. Never mind. I take it back. They're playing some sort of value druid deck. That's actually pretty annoying as well. The big button. Also, Cabaret Headliner right now hits nothing, so... It's not a great outcome. Yeah, yeah. Eh, maybe I should have just gone face there. They're probably going to trade with me regardless. I'm just slightly worried about Swipe versus Druid. That's probably not swipe, that's probably wild growth, yeah. Delightful. <laughs> Do I want to get jivey with it? You know what? I think I do want to get jivey with it. I could companion it, but I don't think it's particularly good value. Go get him, Rag. They're a druid. What are they going to do to an 8 8 at this stage of the game? Please don't find poisonous rush or something. Oh, dirty rats. That's m mildly annoying. Okay. Here go the pirates. So attack, yeah, okay. Ah. Was that right? Now that I think about it, no, I had to reset first. It felt like the order was wrong, but I think it was fine. Or, like, as good as I could have hoped for. Anyway, we have Bloodlust next turn, so if my opponent doesn't deal with this, they just die. Order. <laughs> By the way. So 21. Bloodlust is plus 3, right? I always forget. Or is it plus 4? It's 4, right? Because I I mentioned that this yeah, I mentioned that the six tokens was 24 damage, it's plus four. So that will trade into there. That's seven. Can you shut up for a second? Seven. Six, thirteen. It's lethal. It's not four, it's three. I can't count. I think we're still fine. Even if it's not lethal this turn, which I actually don't think it is anymore. Yeah. 
yeah, it's one off lethal now because I couldn't make the equal trade. It's still a really good outcome for me. Since all my guys have charged and are on one health. And I do have Bloodlust still in hand. Stay alert, my children. That's a pretty good answer, though. Hit the 4-8, or the face. Good. <laughs> I don't know why I said the 4-8. It was only the 3-3 three, three that was a bad outcome there. Nice, okay. It's nice playing a deck that has an actual win condition. No offense, Rogue. We have been a little bit lucky, though. I, I say we've been looking. There was a six percent chance of winning one game. I think if we'd hit the four eight, we were probably good anyway. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it was a thirty three percent, thirty three percent chance to win, or we were going to lose in the long run. Because I was running out of stuff. Morgul versus Celeste. Oh, there's patches. There's sigil and conductivity. It's a mage. Do I think a mage can deal with treasure distributor on turn one? Probably. I think we confirm this, though. I think we play Patches into Sigil. The dream is that we draw at some point. Uh, companion. Oh, I've not actually seen you yet. Standout Elemental. I forgot you were in my deck. I could Sigil Coin Distributor as well. Yeah, let's do that. That seems like complete bullshit if they don't deal with the Distributor. If they do deal with it though, I'm actually in some trouble. Because <laughs> I have no draw. God damn it. The edge malfunction. Okay. Top deck, trusted companion. That's not bueno. It's in fact extremely not bueno. Wow, you're playing Frost Rich Frost Rich in that deck? It's actually really good against me, so I'm a bit annoyed. Now I draw it. Ah, uh, one turn earlier and we would have been golden. I think we still go with it, even though I only draw two off it. I think we're going to lose now from here. Them killing the distributor was brutal. And then drawing two malfunctions at the top of the deck. Basically seals my fate. It's not quite over, I think, but... My fate being frozen as well is really brutal. And then drawing two cosmic keyboards. They've had the dream opening. I had a pretty good opening, but... There's countered mine. And I'll never attack now, so I can't get the dangerous cliff working again. Oh, 
Which actually means I think the win condition now is Cookie. If I can get Cookie to do something. Which actually I don't think I can do. Basically, I think we've lost. Might be dead on this turn. It, it, I am if it's light show, I think. Yeah, I am. Wow, that deck killed me on turn seven. Crazy. It's not even meant to be an aggressive deck. I died on turn seven. Again, this will be interesting to see the matchup. I assuming it's not the stupid variant that we played before. You know what? Something else they could do that I didn't really think about. They can kill my one-two with uh, what's it called? Unrelease fell, whatever it's called. I have to play this, by the way. I can't afford to take turn one off in an aggro v aggro matchup. My hand is awful. What's it called? The one mana deal two damage finale get a fell spell. If they play that onto my distributor, I just kind of fall over. But to be fair, currently I just fall over because I'm playing a totem next turn. And then I can't paraglide. Well, actually, I say I can't paraglide. Maybe I do just paraglide. And just eat that they get three cards too. Maybe that is the right play. There's like only two sticky cards, or oh, I say two, three sticky cards in this deck. Okay, that is the two play now. And we trade it. We just need to kill the really like threatening pirates. It's basically Hosen, Distributor, and possibly the 3-3 three, three that gives all pirates 1-1, one, one, which actually I don't have in this deck. Maybe I should consider it. Uh, we'll be playing Cookie, basically as a 2-2. Two -two. He's also a pirate though, so he's actually a 3-2. Come on, Cookie. I gave you five stars, remember? Not because, you know, you're a good card. You're actually pretty bad, I think. But prove me wrong. Prove me that you were meant to be a five-star card. Oh, Cookie's dead. To be fair, Cookie, you ate a hit for the 4-4. Four -four. I can't bloodlust next turn, remember. Well, I've given my opponent big sad times. I've given my opponent the biggest, saddest of times. Now, I do have to be careful with board space if I play that, so I think it's the wrong play. Uh, six, hang on a minute, do I have lethal? Six, eight, ten. I'm two off lethal, right? If I cliffside, it's worth four. It's the same, right? I get one on the things that get summoned, which is two of them, and I get two here. This is, f if I play all of this out, I get plus four.
It's still just stuff at the end of the day. I lose the Wind Fury, I have lethal. I don't have lethal because I have, no, I do have lethal because of distributor. I nearly ordered it wrong. I forgot that I was going to get that back. <laughs> I'm so bad. No, I flicked my way to four victories. This is going to be the first deck of the opening day that is going to go positive for me as well, because I went four and four, two and five. This is going to go four and three at the the worst. Okay, warrior. It's probably taunt warrior. The name of the game is be hyper hyper aggressive. So. I think we hard mulligan for Patches and Treasure Distributor. They're the two big cards for me. Sigil is pretty good. Actually, Hosen is also good. This is a pretty good opening, and I've not had it yet. Sigil into Hosen. I do skip one, sadly, and I'm kind of skipping two. What? Oh, safety goggles. Okay. Wait, is it? You're not playing Highlander Warrior, are you? Say it ain't so. Uh, I think we hose... Do I hose it into Claw? Oh, they're playing some meme deck. Okay, cool. Never mind, I take it back. I don't know what the fuck they're doing. Potentially losing is what they're going to be doing. So I'm willing to swing one time with the weapon right now. Because I only need two refreshes on my location to get the full value. They're going to probably play a 2 4 Tords as well. Oh, don't get one, a 2 to all. They probably do, though. Odds are in their favor. Yep, it's pretty good. That being said... I don't think I trade here. Okay, I do that though. It's worried they almost certainly have a way to do two damage targets to a minion, so there's no point in missing out on two damage to try and protect this. It's also a torn deck. Alright, warrior. <laughs> Did you expect to be at 6 health on turn 5? You should do, because that's the new norm, I think. Holy shit, they have Blast Tortoise. I'm in shambles. We can still win this, though. to do is draw jive insect <laughs> pray and then we win
Relaxation for all, and all thanks to me. I, I, I was one off lethal anyway, but that is pretty funny. Dive, insect. All right, five and two with Sharp and Demon Hunter. We're going to see a list I think can be optimized a little bit further. Uh, as I said, if you're going to put Pop-Up in the deck, maybe you're trying to fit a beast in the deck so you can draw with Trusty Companion off it. Uh, and actually, I think the draw of this deck wasn't quite there, so maybe add a little bit more draw to it. Uh, but overall, you know, it has some pretty nice combos. Maybe you don't run the full skirting death, plus the jive insect plus the uh, trusty companion maybe you drop one of those three things and go with the rest of them but either way i think this was a pretty you know successful deck it showed that it could keep up with the D demon hunter deck as well to some degree uh and just out aggroed a lot of the other decks anyway if you've enjoyed this youtube why don't you like like comment subscribe everyone else me out. i'll see you again next time bye